we are about to head to the gym. It's day two here in Marbella, and um, we had a good morning. Went and did some cardio. Zach had to sleep in a little bit. He was up late. So did some cardio, did some abs, took some pictures. We look really, really good. So we didn't rebound too bad out of the, the trip and everything. Zach's, or sorry, Zach. Matt's really happy. Um, so we're kind of eating up. Zach's happy too, but Matt's happy. <laughs> Matt's very happy. So we got to eat up a little bit. Um, just because weight's even, weight's kind of maintaining what we were at the show. Like I said, I'm still burning through everything. And, um, you know, we didn't have a big water rebound or just anything that the body had any stress after the show. So we're still in this good, like, prep spot. So now it's about just using this food and our training. And that's what we're going to do. We're going to hit some back right now. Um, go back to M13, hit back there. They had so many good pieces of equipment, so I'm really excited about this. We're going to show you some of those pieces and, um, you know, maybe run into Dorian if we can. That'd be awesome. <laughs> That's a wrap on back today. This is a great gym for back equipment, especially, like I said, this is Dorian, I think, helped, helped set up this gym. So he had a lot of his favorite back pieces, which he is known for. So I had to, his old school pullover, that Nautilus pullover with the chains. We did that today. We had to. I mean, that's just required while we're here. So the pullover machine, we did the DY row, the low lat row. Um, did some pull ups, did some, another row machine that was awesome. Flex leverage. The flex leverage a row machine, pull downs. Um, upper back and then some, yeah, upper back row too so yeah it was great I'm pumped you probably see a few pictures we took it in there my back is all pumped up um, but we're in a great spot so we're just gonna keep enjoying this we're gonna go probably go down try by the ocean real quick because it's right there and then we of course have to go to the grocery store again because we go every day that's pretty much our life right now so i um, gonna go home get some work done um, we'll touch base back there how you feeling good it was a very good session very good session he says. very good, yeah. very good. Great pump. I need food. <laughs> After his 3,000 stuff. We, I call him Mr. Supplement because I feel like every 15 <laughs> minutes he's taking a different supplement. Either Patrick, Patrick Tor, Mr. Supplement. <laughs> Patrick, 
Stop with the five grams of BCAs every 15 minutes, man. It's getting out of hand. So, <laughs> now we're going to head out. We'll see you guys back at the apartment and talk about what's next. See you guys. Good morning from Marbella. Look at this, man. This is beautiful. You got the ocean right there, the sunset. That's no, our sunset. That's our one way. The sunrise and the ocean over the ocean. It's beautiful right here. So, we are coming over to our morning. Good morning. Our morning gym spot. So, this is a different gym than the one we train at. This is just a little bit closer. Um, but it's uh, perfect. It has perfect. We found out yesterday it has perfect progress pick lighting. It has those win windows from the top. So, you got the natural lighting. Um, you'll see some pictures. We'll show you some. But it's nasty. And so, Matt likes it we can, when we can have perfect lighting so he can analyze everything. So, we're going to do some abs. Actually, we're gonna do a little biceps this morning. So we're gonna do a couple rounds of biceps, a little bit of abs, and then pose. So I don't need to do cardio. My weights, my weights, what it was at stage. And I did a high day yesterday. So I'm just soaking everything up. Um, but we don't want to flood myself with food, so we kind of just want to stay here right now. He said for a few days, and then we'll eat over the weekend leading into the next week. But um, we still, I, I still got to do something in the morning. So I'm gonna split it up, do some biceps here in the morning, and then some abs, and then we'll get some pictures for you, and then get about our day with meal one. Um, what's on the agenda today? Mm, I'm gonna do cardio, 20 minutes cardio, five minutes of abs, only five minutes, that's important. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, and then I'm gonna get, get back to work, come back to you guys, I'm gonna do push, right? Do Dorian, do some push. Yeah, it's gonna be a good day. The sun's shining, We're ready to go. So yeah, I ran into Dorian Yates' wife at the gym last night, so I asked her if we could link up with Dorian. I don't really fanboy over bodybuilders much, but this is like, I haven't even seen Dorian at an expo over these years or anything, so finally I'm just like, if I'm in his city, I gotta at least meet him, you know, talk to him, maybe pick his brain real quick. Um, so we're, we're gonna do that today. And then, um, you know, maybe I can talk to him to doing a training session here these next few days too. So that's gonna be the highlight of today, meeting Dorian and, um, and then just continuing to push on. Big push day and eat and we might go down to the beach and show you some of that stuff. So let's get this day and Q and A today. We got a lot of good questions. Gonna answer them, not all of them, but a lot of them. Uh, we'll probably do that this morning. It's a beautiful morning. So let's get started the right way with the morning routine. do some errands and hopefully go meet Dorian because we he was gonna be at the gym today here from 12 to 1 so we're gonna go try to catch him at the end just say what's up and maybe talk about training session whatever more so I just want to be meet a guy like I said there's not many bodybuilders that I really have gone out of my way with <laughs> to go you know see or whatever just because we see him all the time at different expos whatever but for some reason I've never met Dorian and that's kind of on the bucket list because we all you know especially as hardcore bodybuilders, we all start, our roots come from watching his videos of him training in the basement gym, the intensity involved. His story in general is just so impressive that I wanna kinda talk to him, pick his brain a little bit and see what we can do. So we'll see, we, we don't know exactly if he'll be there or if he's leaving early or whatever, but at least give it a try while we're here, it's worth it, so. Um, then we gotta go get some more groceries, of course. Then we're gonna go to the beach. So I wanna go see the beach real quick. It's so beautiful, I just wanna show you guys you got the mountains coming down into the beach. It's just so nice here. So we've been loving Marbella and we're gonna enjoy a little bit this afternoon before we head in train push. Um, so we'll be back at the part or we'll, we'll show you this. We'll come back, we'll eat and then we'll go train. So see you soon. Yeah. <laughs> 
That's all right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Controversial stuff. Some raw. Show the raw. Oh yeah. Got some raw. Got the raw. Thing. Just took the savage out of school. Oh, we got the. Oh, yeah. We got the. We got the C bomb going too. Oh What's yeah. Up, What's going on, bro? Nice to meet you, brother. Lee. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, brother. You guys training or what? Uh, we actually parked in the car to go eat. Yeah. And I was texting him. He actually responded saying that you guys are coming midday. Oh, day. Yeah, 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 they, they <laughs> messaged me. So I was gonna go eat and come back, but I was like, like literally Brett right there. Yeah. yeah I was like, we gotta come say hi. Now we just met Dorian. That was awesome. Dorian's here today. Yeah, oh he's my like, god. Be, you know, he might want to get a little. Oh bit. no no yeah. We'll be at the gym later. Well, he, yeah, he's gonna be here tomorrow though. So he's, yeah. We're gonna come back and he's gonna look at some scrub again. Oh yeah. For sure. Go to Alicante, right? Uh, next week. Next, next week. week? Okay. Yeah. Nine oh, days. Yeah. I'll be here for another second. Oh yeah. He looks crazy on Mania. Thank you. Absolutely Thank you. insane. Compared to like the Arnold, Appreciate he it. looks crazy. Yeah, I had to, I, I need I needed that engine. One hundred percent. Oh yeah, one hundred percent. And Matt, I mean, he's Matt's the best. Goated for a reason. Matt's the best. Yeah, one hundred percent. Oh yeah. He can't beat that. One hundred percent. One hundred percent. Yeah. It's so crazy. Why don't you get a picture? Yeah, for That's sure. Cool. Look, there's a pre-workout meal across the street, Brett. Yeah, there's. That's Lazar's Lazar's Carba. Is that what he called it? Yeah, Carba? Lazar's OG <laughs> Carba. He will not look at us because he's embarrassed. He's so embarrassed. <laughs> yeah, you got it. Come on. No, he's like, keep it dry now, please. Don't look at me. It's a real pack. It's real pack. Real pack. Yeah. All the good stuff. Yeah. Sorry, man, for the picture. Harsh deep enough now, bro. Sorry, man, for the picture. Sorry. Yeah, he's actually he's just sorry, sorry, man. All right, that was definitely a bucket list. Oh, man. Just met Dorian, so you guys, you guys saw. We actually went to go see him at the gym, but he was already gone. And luckily, somebody was like, he's actually drinking coffee upstairs. So we walked upstairs. I went up to him real quick and just said that I wanted to uh, link up, say what's up. And he was really, really cool. So we chatted for a while. He actually invited us to come tomorrow. Uh, he's going to be at the gym again, and he wants to look at me. So you can't, you can't beat that right there. So we will train tomorrow. We're going to go a little bit earlier and then um, just do some poses for him and get his feedback. And... You know, that's just really a bucket list item for me uh, this was to meet him, especially while here. And then now we get to do a little bit of a physique check with him. He gets, get his professional opinion and um, pick his mind a little bit. All right. With that said, we are now down at the beach. So check this out. This is really cool. We got a little little strip of strip here next to the next to the water. I'm already trying to get sold some of the fake purses and watches and everything. And they didn't want to be on video. So you even though they said it was real, um, but we know how that goes. <laughs> but uh, let's go check out the beach a little bit, get some cool scenes, and just keep enjoying this day. It's beautiful here today. It's like 75 degrees, sunny. Everybody's outside. You can tell everybody's good vibes all around, and I just keep loving Marbella. So, Ivana, I might not come home. I'm sorry. I might stay, extend my stay, come back to Marbella for a few months, but um, I don't think that's going to work out. Yeah, that might not happen. So. <laughs> You want to come as well. Just more than welcome. Yeah, we'll meet you here. <laughs> are high, cortisol is low. So. <laughs> Another session, second session of the day coming down. You saw us this morning, we got a little abs in, a little biceps in. Um, now we are gonna hit some push, so shoulders and chest. Uh, just another opportunity to keep getting better here. Feeling really good, we got a high day today. Um, all my meals are looking at like around 100 grams of carbs, you know, 60 grams of protein, probably like 25 grams of fat. Um, just because I keep waking up right about the same way. So I'm sitting right at that 242, just soaking everything up. 
that's what happens with these competitions is like especially after competition weekend like your metabolism goes into hyperdrive it, it does for me anyway and since i didn't have a bad rebound out of it i didn't go eat like an idiot or like put on too much water from flights and stuff i'm able to use this opportunity and use this metabolism spike to eat up and train hard so i'm fueling my workouts and then obviously you're seeing us train hard and burn through that and i'm just you know sweating it all out burning it all off through the workout and using that and filling up the muscles so um, we were talking about this before. It's just like it's a really cool spot to be in. It's like I don't have to kill myself going into this next show because my body's already primed and I'm already at those percentages of body fat that I don't have to keep digging deeper. I'm good where we're at. If we need to do a couple low days next week and, and, and peak week, that's fine. But right now we can focus on training, focus on getting, you know, filling out the muscles more and bringing even a big, a fuller look next weekend. So I love where we're at. We're good. Um, this is going to be a, a fun one. We're doing, chest, like I said, chest and shoulders. And I've um, got the tank top on today, and let's see how much we can fill this shit up and look pretty cool, too. So, you ready to get after it? I'm ready, I'm ready. All right, let's go. Man. Let's go. Zach was saying, like, my strength is at, like, just from that little, you know, being able to eat here and feed up this week and really just focus on training. My strength was at, like, beginning of prep levels there, especially on the pressing. Everything just felt so, so good. What I really focused on was, like, not so much on the warm-ups and reps, but really just because I knew I was feeling strong. So really pushing those top sets with the, the, with the weight. So like I said, we were hitting the, you know, like the flex press, four plates per side. You know, really good solid um, set of 10 to 12 there. And then we do one back off. So like a hard top set, hard back off, move on. So really, really good. How we set it up, we did a fly. We went into um, the, the, my favorite machine, which is the incline flex press, which you don't see me very, very much in the United States. And so it's good that they had it here and I really want to run that hard and it felt really good. We then went into the flat flex press, which we have a revive now. I used to have it at Armbrust, one of my favorites. Uh, after that, we went into some dumbbell flies with some flexing, um, just to kind of push the nutrients, really fill up the chest. We then moved on to some shoulders. We started with some seated side raise with dumbbells. Ran some really good top sets there. We went to a, a, a super set which was a cable single arm. So you put, the, you put the cable in between your legs and just leaned into it and really went out to the side on those, really isolating, isolating the shoulder head, that medial delt. And we paired that with this other um, flex fitness machine that they had that was just a seated um, side raise machine. And then our final superset was some fronts. Um, we actually did another flex fitness piece, which was a press, a shoulder press where you're laying backwards and down. I really like that one because you don't really get that angle where you're almost just like laying down and pushing away from you. Um, it sets your body up just at the shoulders. And we walked over immediately and did some cable rope in between your legs, front raises, and then finished with some flexing. So kind of those FST7 principles, which I like to do towards closer to the show, but you know, practicing your flexing, practicing your posing after you already, you know, fill up the muscles with glycogen with blood. Um, so uh, overall, just a great, great session, man. Like I said, going into this, I just feel amazing. You know, these guys are feeling amazing too. So we're just running it right now while we can and getting as much as we can with these sessions, going home, resting during the day, eating during the day, sleeping as much as we can at night and then repeating. So that's all I have planned right now. Um, we got to still go to the grocery store again tonight yeah. um, and go our second home our second home They run Every a few day. errands, but um overall man. These are just quality sessions. How did you like? How did you like training with us in our style? How was that? It's really nice, you know switching it up because I'm not used to this kind of Order training this kind of exercise the way they do uh, They do a lot of intensifiers in the, in the in the back off sets now I'm training really like I'm doing one top set one back off set and not doing much intensifiers So just fun to switch it up, you know it's fun to meet these guys. A lot of motivation, of course. So uh, we're having a good time. Yeah. So yeah, he was he was definitely feeling a few sets in, but he, he was a champ and pushed yeah. through. And Zach killed it too. So overall, man, we this trio right now is just fucking rolling. Oh, we met some cool kids in there. They're actually stationed out here. Um, you know, served for the military. And they were wearing raw and sea bum gear, so they were all excited when we walked in. And it's just cool to see that you know raw the sea bum brand is everywhere. Um, and we can kind of travel the world and run into guys like that. So you know, we'll show them in the video there, Juiced and uh, really cool guys and big support. And it's just cool to keep seeing these fans and you know running into people and just having these different conversations and you, you know meeting new people everywhere. So this is what this Europe, European trip has been about is just all the support from all these awesome people. So keep it coming, you know, keep liking this, keep subscribing to this, keep commenting, because um, I'm loving it, man. This is so much fun. So we're gonna go finish our day. Um, you know, we're kind of just stringing these days together. We're not just doing like a single day. So this is probably like, you know, three days in a row, but.